Hello guys, this is Joe Arkaya and I have a new project. It's uh, aquaphonics uh, using the rain gutter to build an aquaphonics system. And this is the other one. Is the it's too bright today. Uh, this is a uh, linoleum. This is a uh, it uh, this is a uh, recycled it was a uh, garbage already and i uh, use it as a uh, uh, layer for the water and i build this box it's a uh, two by six uh, wood and yeah so this is the other one and i'm gonna put uh, green onions here and this is uh, I bought from uh, Dollarama and I'm going to uh, put some holes in here and this is a uh, styrofoam and I'm cutting the styrofoam to cut uh, square holes for this aquaponics see and this is uh, it's not done yet so yeah and this is the pond and this is my previous uh, experiment using the rain gutter see it's all healthy and it's uh, working well and that's why I decided to make more and because uh, I look at my lettuce exploding my mint uh, cabbage out there kale so these are all uh, grows here and uh, yeah it's growing well so I'm impressed with the the result and this is the Swiss chard so I already harvest this uh, Swiss chard uh, five times now and this is the six six times uh, when they uh, grow again just cut and cut and unlimited supply yeah and this the strawberry it's flowering now before I it look like this because I did not uh, anticipate of the having uh, right temperature so I just I don't have a heater before and I just put this uh, uh, aquaphonics without the proper temperature so the plants won't grow it's not growing well if uh, the temperature is uh, oh well I try to maintain uh, 21 degrees up to 26 degrees Celsius because I already have tilapia in here see the tilapia I have 20 tilapia here yeah, they're all hiding from me and 10 koi those are koi in there I have uh, 10, 20 tilapia fingerlings so this uh, uh, green onions and uh, I need more green onions because my uh, me my wife and my sons eat a lot for the soup so they try to plant here and here so, <laughs> so here is we eat a lot of green onions so I decided to uh, build them uh, another one strip there and I think uh, this I'm gonna put uh, strawberries here and I'm gonna fill that area with the, uh, just a switch charge here all line up and I think I'm gonna put some uh, lettuce over here the curly I like this one this is an experimental one but yeah it grows well eh so yeah it's so healthy and uh, yeah and the kill yeah it grows well and this is the previous one my first experiment uh, it's too tight but uh, still working these are uh, lettuce and <laughs> it's a 
it's fun. Yeah. So look at the strawberry. So that's how it works. Oops. Yeah, I use this. Uh, this how how I do it. So. So the strawberry doesn't have much root system in it, but the uh, Swiss chard, see how it works. It's uh, too much root. I think when uh, I will experiment, if when you're cutting this, I'm gonna cut the roots. I uh, will see what happen. That's my and, uh, once uh, this uh, grow well and harvest after harvest I'm gonna cut the root after harvest so this is my uh, two sweet potato taps in Filipino we call that talbos all right so I'll just give you an update and let's continue working for this one this I'm gonna put some uh, this one doesn't have a put this one a lava rock here fill that with lava rock over there and put some uh, tomato here and kale or whatever and this is the strawberry lane <laughs> strawberry lane all right let's continue working okay Okay, you just put some gravel. This is uh, gravel from the aquarium. I just uh, recycled it rather than throwing it. You can use any gravel and then put a perlite on the top of it. So let's do it. It's a plant uh, <laughs> green onion, not onion rings. <laughs> green onion <laughs> all right let's plant green onion so this is a small square of uh, growers uh, it uh, fits nine pieces of green onion Six. Six. Nine. So three. I found a new one. Okay. And then let's put some light. No. Perlite is uh, good because it absorbs moist. just uh, yeah. dusty and it's new Can also use gravel. 
like to use uh, perlite on the top of the gravel. The gravel because it absorbs moist. Okay, I think it should be good. And then we're gonna wet it with water. Let's get some water. Just to wash the just enough to wet the. So the purpose of the gravel underneath, where is it? There. Is to, uh, so that the water will pass through in there and get the, the nitrate nitride from the pond. So it flows flowable in there. So that's the purpose. Okay. Good to go. And goes here. Just put that one. So here is our aquaphonics. Let's wait for two weeks or not. Two weeks. It's ready to harvest. So already put the lava rock here. My son helped me. More space here for our green onion. So this is the other one here. I'm gonna transfer all of them over there. All right. Let's make more. Yeah, we're done. And I put all my lettuce here. So that's the lettuce this is the project a new uh, set of uh, aquaphonics and underneath there I'm still waiting for some uh, seeds to grow and I'm gonna put it there and, uh, yeah everything is uh, doing well and here's my tomato this one is not it's not uh, it's just a in a bucket system and this is the apple and all right so I put all the onion the green onions over here and some lettuce kale are the seeds that I'm waiting to sprout. I just put it uh, a day ago and it's sprouting now. There's more kale. The kale I'm gonna put it uh, on maybe at the top there or down there or maybe I need to make a new one. Oh okay. The so kale is uh, tall. Make a new one. All right. <laughs>